managers, although didn't know specifically the wording and the reasoning and the rationale, always had something in the back of their mind about hating brainstorming. Right? Especially you get these really bright guys in companies, they, they don't like brainstorming because it has, it has inherent weaknesses. Sure enough, you, know, you, go to, you go to a definition of brainstorming, even like on Wikipedia, and they outline studies by social psychologists about, about the weak, five major weaknesses of brainstorming. I came to the realization that with, with actually with a software version, you can overcome those major weaknesses. Right? Some of the weaknesses are what they call social loafing. You know, some managers hate brainstorming because they think it's just people sitting around a table having a good time and having a party. And they're wasting company resources. Um, then, there's, then there's the effect of highly influential people in the room affecting, uh, affecting people who are less influential. You know, and then there's people who wear multiple hats, what Edward de Bono talked about. You know, you've got your analytical thinkers. Should the analytical thinkers be in the room if, it's, if you're just doing pure ideation? Right? So there's all kinds of weaknesses there that, that could be overcome with, 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 a, with a software component. And one of the major areas I, I think is important is as well as for those people who may not be, not the type of people who need to come up with the idea right away. They'd like to get some inspiration, some ideas thrown on the table, but they need to go away with some of these ideas. But while in the shower or on the drive home, which is where a lot of my great ideas come from, they go, wait a minute, I know Bob said we, sh we should be doing this, but now I'm thinking, boy, if we actually do the opposite, this could be the, the winning idea. So sending staff on planes and buses and stuff like that, there's a high risk there. And so the idea was to set up a center for brainstorming locally in a beautiful space with all the, that covers, you know, what we call, I guess, what we call our own three Ps, you know, people, place, and process. Anyway, after we exhausted all those ideas, I was not particularly satisfied with the model and I actually tested it at a local ad agency. I did a kind of a seminar and, and I came back with some misgivings or ideas about that it's not finished and I don't think we could sell this. It need, needs some more, more work, more understanding. And so, that's when I sort of retreated back to, you always retreat back to the stuff that you, that you know and love. So I thought, I thought about a software version for doing some sort of brainstorming. An electronic version, people could be typing in working ways, oh, the boss is asking where we should be going for lunch today. Okay, let me think about that, I'll go back to you. Maybe we should do this instead, yeah. Right. And so it allows people to think. It's, so you, you're changing the paradigm of thinking. What electronic version can do is that for those who want to participate right away, can. But with electronic version, because it works asynchronously as opposed to synchronously, meaning it's everybody's in the room talking at the same time, the electronic version work, works asynchronously, almost like CB radio. So there's pause. Sometimes pause is good. Like if you know the most effective interview, like the late Mike Wallace, he was known for his pause because pause forces people to think.